Hello everyone, welcome back to Pit Forge. Um today, well, the server's been uploaded to updated to 1.12 as you can see, and I'm gonna go on an adventure. I just having a quick look at the advancements and I mean there's a lot of stuff I have done that's not done, but you know that's fine. But if you look at adventure, I just notice there's like all this cool stuff like apparently I have there's 36 vi biomes in Minecraft and I didn't even know that and the stuff from like 1.11 like woodland mansions I haven't seen before but the main thing I want to do is I want some parrots because parrots are awesome and for that I need to find a jungle so I'm gonna go off on an adventure today but now if we go over here to the stables I have been given a present and B the person that helped make the stables with me has given me a present of a horse which is really nice of them and I'm very grateful thank you Ambi so what I'm gonna do is let's saddle up this horse I've got seeds which are what you need to train parrots and we're just gonna kinda go have a bit of explore see what we find it doesn't matter if we don't end up finding parrots but I hope we do we're just gonna have an explore around the world of Minecraft apparently this is already a tamed horse which is really nice and what should we call our tamed horse wait is our um, llama still down here like this llama down here, no? Our llama got disappeared, that makes me really sad. But we're going to call our horse... What should we call our horse? Let's call him... Okay, how do we actually tame a horse? I don't know. Name tag? Oh, of course we need to actually use the name tag in an anvil. I can remember how name tags work. Shush, I'm not completely dumb at Minecraft, maybe. Okay, let's call him... A name. What should we call him? I don't know, let's think of a name for our horse. Wow, caps lock, fun. Montgomery. I don't care if that's how it's normally spelt, that's how it's spelt for my horse. Our horse is going to be Montgomery the horse. Because why the hell not? Like this really weird spelling of Montgomery. There we go. Okay, so we're going to go off on an adventure. I've got some seeds, I've got some wood, got food, all that kind of stuff. And we're going to see if we can find a parrot. So first I just wanted to go and have a look around at stuff a few people have made. Because there's interesting stuff. And this horse is probably even faster than the minecart really. But, you know, it's nice now I do have a horse. So I was just looking around at Spawn and I noticed this weird thing. And a partially built house as well. But Spawn's looking much the same. But I think I should be able to get my horse into the nether. Because we have a rather large portal. And I think you can get your horses to go into the three portals. Yeah, my horse did just go through the portal. Good, so this is the nether hub. If he doesn't like walk into walls. But I wanted to go not to the end portal, this way. Because if we head down here, is it this one? No, it must be the next one. There is some player farm stuff, which is actually really cool. There's this massive player farm in this area, which is apparently for community farms. That's what I meant, community farms. Don't go in there, horse. That won't be very good for you. There we go. So if we go in here... Of course, I have to get off my horse first. Okay, we've arrived. And I just wanted to show off this awesome, massive sugarcane farm someone's built. I'm not quite sure who, but look at this massive sugarcane farm. I wonder what all these, they look like furnaces. Yeah, furnaces are for, because I don't understand why there's furnaces, but I just wanted to show off this awesome sugarcane farm I saw. Doesn't appear to have any sugarcane, interestingly. Oh, they're probably all down here. Yeah, that would make sense. Let's go have a look down here at the sugarcane. 40, yeah. It probably hasn't been on much, because it's not actually in spawn chunks. But now I want to go out and find a jungle, which is you find where you find parrots. And if I can find a Mesa, then we can find terracotta, and we can smelt that into glazed terracotta, which is like another cool 1.12 block. So I'm going to head off in this direction, and let's have a look. And how many biomes were there? There's 36 biomes. So let's go and have a look at what we can see. Okay, there's the sea already. Okay, let's go off in this direction then. Forget that direction, that direction was poopy, I didn't like that direction. Okay, we're travelling through a tiger forest now. I haven't been to a tiger forest in what feels like ages, but... Yeah, this is just one of the many biomes, because there's so much stuff in Minecraft that I haven't really explored much, because it's a while since I actually just went off and had a look around at what there is. 
But yeah, I, I haven't. I, I've been like around my base for almost all the Minecraft playing I've been doing recently. Oh look, a village! See, look, our exploration has already yielded results in the form of an awesome village, Flynn's village. So it's not. I'm not the first person to explore this village. Apparently, Flynn has visited here before. But look, I found a village, and it is awesome. And let's try not to kill my horse. But just having a quick look around, it just looks like. A cool village that's kind of partly built in the water, but whatever. It's actually really nice. Oh, they didn't these vill new villagers use path blocks. Hey, zombies, leave those villagers alone, damn you. I was accidentally hitting my horse there because my horse is dumb. Since when do horses follow you? Is that a new thing? Because my horse appears to be following me. I could just be imagining it. Probably I'm just imagining it. What's hitting me? Another zombie. Wow, there's a lot of zombies around here. Yeah, this new recipe on Knot's quite annoying because I already know how to craft everything. So I don't really need to use the recipe book. But actually in my resource pack there's no button, you can't see it because my resource pack's from like 1.8 or something ridiculous like that. Anyway, let's go this way. This horse is actually a really fast horse. I wonder if... Oh god. Um, I wonder if Ambi particularly chose me a fast horse or if that's just luck. But anyway, let's get out of this village. There's way too many monsters and it doesn't seem like anyone's going to sleep. There's a snow biome over there. But let's see what the next interesting thing we find is. Polar bears! I've never seen polar bears in Minecraft. Oh yeah, they're hostile, okay. But yeah, I've never actually seen polar bears. See, I haven't been exploring for ages, but look, we have found some epic polar bears. What biome is this? This is a ice plains. Wow! Yeah, I don't think I've been to an ice plains before. That's really cool. And this is all ice. Now, I've not seen polar bears before. It's all a bit snowy here. Um, so that's cool. But yeah, look at these awesome polar bears. I've not seen those before. Okay, creeper. I'm coming at you. Don't you dare blow up. Oh. I'm trying to get some of these doggies. I've got three bones. Come on, that's got to be enough. One, two, three. Yay, I got a doggy. And I got an advancement too. Yay. Doggy, you can follow me on my quest. If you want, um, where you go? There, sure. You follow me, you follow me. Wow, look how, I just found some pumpkins and look how fast they break with this efficiency 5 axe. I think it's efficiency 5, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I just thought I'd show you how ridiculously fast those pumpkins break. Snow biome again. I wonder if I've been going around in a massive circle. That is entirely possible, but it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna head this way because I don't feel like riding through a load of snow. Oh look, is that more horses? Yeah, I've got a horse, but look, I found some horses. Yay! But this horse I have is like really good and really fast. I don't know why. Maybe Ambi deliberately gave me a really nice horse, but they're like one of the best horses I've ever owned in Minecraft actually, so yeah, I'm happy with my horse. Hey look, there's mushrooms up there, but, um, yeah, look at all this water in the way, which is quite tricky for horses. Oh wait, yeah, there's a little spit here that I can probably get my horse across slightly easier. It's still going to be pretty tricky, but I think this is a way to get around to the mushrooms, yeah. See, I just haven't really noticed how interesting the Minecraft land lands are before, but now look, we have found the place of the mushroom, which is called a mushroom island, despite not really being an island. And oh my god, there's mushrooms! Look, there's mushrooms! Mushrooms! They're simply mushrooms! 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 Kill all the mushrooms just because I feel like it. Yay, but there's mushrooms! And simply's joined the game as well, which is nice, but look, there's mushrooms! I mean, oh my god! Okay, now let's cut down a mushroom. I assume it's going to be like an axe, yeah. That was fast. Yeah, I can cut down a mushroom kind of fast with this axe, which is good. There we go, that's one mushroom. That's a spotty mushroom. Oh yes, good sleep. Good sleeping, simply. Thank you. But that, but that dog's actually been really helpful and he still managed to follow me. That's a spotty red mushroom. Let's cut down a brown mushroom as well. Shall we? Just for a bit of variety. 
There we go. Wow, it's so fast to this axe, it's great. I mean, just wow. Mushroom, mushy, mushy, mushroom. Mushroom, mushy, mushy, mushroom. Mushroom, mushy, mushy, mushroom. Anyway, we haven't, what we haven't found so far is a mesa where I can find terracotta or a jungle where I can find parrots, but we have found a cool mushroom mine. So that's fairly cool, I think. Anyway, um, wow, this is actually quite a big mushroomy area. Nice. Look at all these mushrooms, wow. Cool. Anyway, that is the mushroom area. Um, guys, I think I just saw... I've been going around in a massive circle, I'm back here. I don't believe it, this is not deliberate. But I, um, just by pure coincidence, luck I guess, because it means I'm not that far away from where I need to be, I have ended up back here at this place. It is amazing, because this is where I set off from like half an hour ago. And I was not deliberately going in a circle, I was just kind of going in a random direction, and then I started going straight after a while. But I seem to have ended up back here, so that's pretty amazing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to spawn, pick a direction from spawn, and go off from there, because we still haven't found a jungle or a mesa. Okay, back at spawn now, which way do I want to go? I think I'm going to head off over in this direction here because this seems like a nice direction to head off in. But that's why so much of the stuff I was going through, I thought, why is there only like two or three biomes in the whole of Minecraft? It was because I was going around in a big circle. There's llamas there, that's nice. But anyway, I don't know how I managed to do that, but I let's go off in a different direction and make sure we keep heading in the same direction so we don't go back on ourselves too much. I mean, at least it means it wasn't that hard to find my way back to spawn, right? But... Anyway, it's like the same village. It's probably going to be the same freaking village, isn't it? I reckon it will be, knowing me. But, yeah, let's just see if this village has that sign that said, like, Simply's Village or something. Because if it is, then that's going to be interesting. Because last time I got here via, like, a nether portal. Um, I don't know. It looks like it could be a different village, actually. It's just another village. It's not that hard to find villages, apparently. But, anyway, is there a blacksmith so I can see if it's been raided? Well, there is a sign there, so it probably has been raided. But what does this sign say? Property of Flynn. Okay, this might be the same village, actually. Flynn's village. But anyway, I don't know how I keep going in the same directions. But let's keep going. Okay, apparently there's a jungle about 3,000 blocks to the south. And a mesa to the west across an ocean. So I've done a bit of random exploring. Which was fun, because I found a jungle biome, among other things. But okay, let's go back to spawn, and then let's head to the south, and see if we can't find that jungle biome. Oh my god, there's so many llamas here. I mean, look, this is just like Llama City. Wow, I've done like 1,000 of the 3,000 blocks so far, and I've just found so many llamas and sheep too. What is this area? Why are there so many llamas and sheep? I do not know, but let's continue onward towards the jungle and the parrots. Oh my god. God, what happened to these trees? What are these? The, oh my god, they're like too thick tiger trees. What biome is this? Mega Tiger Hills. I haven't seen Mega Tiger. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, you get these things as well, like these weird stone bits in the ground. What are they? They're just like a load of mossy cobble just randomly put in the ground, are they? There's nothing here, no? That is weird. I haven't seen these before. Why does my horse feel need to wander off? But yeah, I haven't seen a mega tiger before. That's actually really cool. Anyway, that is a cool thing that I have found that I didn't know was in Minecraft. Is that a bunny? I don't know if I've really seen many bunnies before, but look, it's a bunny. There's bunnies in Minecraft, because I knew that. I just don't really see them. But oh my god, I found another village as well. What is with this village? I think this is definitely a different one this time, though. This is definitely a different one this time. So let's see if we can't find the blacksmith where we might be able to get ourselves a little bit of loot yeah? ooh, what's in here? there's the blacksmith I can't really tie my horse up annoyingly this is just got some books but here we have blacksmith which generally has a chest around here 
but it just has some gold and some tap things. That's a bit poopy. Oh, well, we might as well take the gold. It's gold, right? Gold's valuable. There we go. That's a pretty crappy chest, but, you know, whatever. I'm really getting annoyed by those new recipe unlocks now, because they're not... I know everything. I already have most of these things. If I just took some of the stuff in my chest, my inventory, I'd probably get a load of advancements, because now they're advancements, not achievements. But anyway, let's continue. How far have we gone? We've gone... Okay, we've got about... 400 blocks to go till we've gone 300 blocks south of spawn, but I don't know if we'll find the vid the jungle or if, or if we'll have gone too far east or west. Ooh, what's this structure? Aren't these like witches' huts or something? I don't know if I've come across these when I'm just playing survival Minecraft. I think these are supposed to be like witches' huts or something, and I'll leave my horse in the middle of the water. It's not too likely to wander off in that case. Okay, this does look like a witch's hut or something. Do I have any boring blocks on me? Um, gravel's kind of boring, right? There we go. Let's just give ourselves a way up. And we can keep placing it in the same place. Where's our horse? There. Probably don't want to spend too long here, otherwise the um, horse will disappear. But, horse, where are you? Over there, good. Let's kill the witch, because there's going to be a witch in the witch's hut. There we go, what's they dropped? That looks like blaze powder. Huh, there doesn't appear to be any loot here. I thought you might get a loot, but no, I've just come into a witch's house and I like, killed them for no reason at all. Oh, sorry witch. Come on horsey, we've got a jungle to find. Ooh, I found some roofed forest. Aren't you supposed to be able to find woodland mansions in roof forest or something? That's really cool. Well, I found a roof forest. I have not seen one of these before, but this is, if we go a bit further in, roofed forest. I've not actually seen this, but I think it might be easier if we get on top of the forest because they're so... Yeah, look, this is so much easier, but we're going to continue southwards to try and find our jungle, but that's just another interesting biome I haven't really seen much of. Although I do think Hunter, I don't know if he has or had his base in a different roof forest, but anyway, roof forest, another cool biome. Is that it? It is! See that over there? That is a jungle. Oh my god, Creeper blew up my horse! How could they? Oh my god, the creeper just blew up my horse just as I arrived where I needed to go. Oh, poor horse. Well, I've still got my saddle. Oh, I'm gonna have to walk back, aren't I? But yeah, that was a bit annoying creeper, just ruining my big moment. But I have found a jungle. Let's head over. Okay, let's see if we can get past these monsters through this section of roof forest around to the jungle. I really would appreciate it if someone could sleep, so actually sleep this. There we go. Maybe someone will sleep because that would be a lot nicer than this current night time. But we are heading this way and we are nearly at the jungle. And there it is. All we need to do now is find a parrot within the jungle. And I've got depth strider so I can just swim across the water really fast. But yay. We are in the jungle. We've made it. Now all we need to do is see if we can find some parrots, which I, I believe are found in jungles, but I mean, I sure hope they are after all this effort. What's that? That's cocoa beans. Sure, we'll collect some cocoa beans. Better not feed any cookies to our parrots though, because apparently that kills them. Apparently parrots don't want your cookies, so yeah. Hmm, now where are the parrots? What is that? I see a thing over there. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm sure I just saw something. Yeah, that. What is that? See, my adventure keeps taking me to some weird and wonderful things, and I honestly don't know what that is. Is that what a jungle temple looks like? Because if so, sign me up. I'm going in. I mean, I probably will survive, right? As long as I don't like set off any TNT or something, but... Let's go and explore a jungle temple since there's one here, although it can't be a jungle temple because it's outside the jungle. What is it? Is it just some weird stone structure without anything in it or what? What is it? It's in a, um, yeah, it's in a, it's still, I'm still in jungle, but this is obviously not jungle, this is tiger. Yeah, there we go. It's in a tiger biome. 
So I wonder what it is, because I didn't know you had any kind of structures that spawn in tiger biomes, unless it's technically still in the jungle somehow. But let's go up and have a look at this weird stone structure. Is it just like a small thing? Because, yeah, it's just some weird... I don't know what this is. I haven't seen these before. What is this? This is really cool. Is it like a tiger? It's like a tiger. Um, oh, this is still technically a jungle, so I think it's a jungle temple. Okay. It's weird. I have not seen a jungle temple like this. It just looks a bit weird. But yeah, I guess it's probably a jungle temple. So let's head down and see what we find in this completely safe and uh, not dangerous structure. <laughs> oh, there's some levers. That seems like a good idea. Oh, what did I just set off? That was a bit weak. Hello? Where was that? Okay, so there's some kind of pressure plate around here that I... Or tripwire or something. Oh, here we go. There's the tripwire. What's that doing? That's just activating a dispenser there. Okay. And is that like the sum total of the traps? Because that was a bit weak. Anyway, golden horse armor. That would have been... um useful earlier bones and iron nothing really good in here that's a bit of a shame what about in the dispensers oh no there's another trap there that's fine yeah these arrows really don't do much <laughs> i like these um pirate speak but yeah anything in here nope okay that was a bit boring those dispensers being a bit weak but what anything happen if i flick these that did something. What did that do? I don't know what that did. Okay, that did something, that's for sure. What's changed? Um, I can't tell what's changed, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat and I'm going to mine behind the lever and see where it takes me. Okay, apparently it opens a thing. I don't know if this is actually... That's weird. Is this supposed to like open a door to somewhere or what? Because this door doesn't seem very, very door-like to me. It doesn't seem like it opens anything, but I mean, whatever. Yeah, look, if you do that, it does that, but that doesn't really... So maybe that has to be down or something? Hmm. I don't know. That doesn't seem to do much, but I mean, that leads through... If I can get rid of this stupid zombie, it leads through to this other bit, through here where we just were. Okay, this is where we just were, isn't it? Yeah, with it. And there might be some actual loot in this chest here. But there also seem to be a lot of zombies. Nope, just a bit more gold and the same kind of crap. That's a bit disappointing, really. But anyway, I have found a jungle temple, but I've not found any parrots. Back to the whole parrot thing, I guess. Okay, I've been searching for quite a while now, and I haven't found any parrots. I think they're supposed to be quite rare, and well, that sure seems to be the case. I'm just going to check I'm still in... Is that a, am I still in a jungle? Yes, I'm still in a jungle, okay. But yeah, I can't find any parrots in said jungle. And I've been searching for a good 20 minutes, and I'm getting a bit bored of it. But this episode, we've had a pretty good adventure, found, among other things, a mushroom island, a roofed forest... And now we're in a jungle. Um, as you, if either next episode or between episodes, I'll try and find parrots. But I am a long way from home, and I have to walk, so I don't know what's going to happen in that regards. But I hope you've enjoyed this interesting adventure. I have not found any parrots, sadly. But I have found the locations where I would, f where parrots should be, if only they would spawn. So, thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Parrot Quest. And, uh, goodbye!